I think I've defined Newton's second law of motion more than a hundred times. So for this video, let me just skip it. Only this once. Let's start with 2.2.1. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the slope BC and the block M2 is 0 0.2. Draw a label, the free body diagram for block M2. Let's go ahead and take a look at block M2 and see what we can do. So before we start thinking of anything else, we need to indicate the weight first. After indicating the weight, we can then look at the other forces. Our object is resting on a surface, so we expect a normal force. M1 and M2 are connected by a light inextensible string, so we are going to have our tension force. The mass of M2 is 70 kg. The mass of M1 is 12 kg. So it would make sense to assume that M2 is moving down the slope. If that is the case, then the frictional force will be up the slope. 2.2.1, it is for 4 marks, and we have 4 forces on our free body diagram. So we are quite confident that we have not missed anything. Let's go ahead and do 2.2.2. Calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the system. Show all steps in your calculation. Well, let's start with M2 because we already have a free body diagram. So, this is for M2. Why am I writing M2? I want to show the person that is marking my script exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't want any confusion whatsoever. So, F net is equals to MA. This is how we always start. What do we say now? We say the force pulling the object minus all the forces that are opposing. M2 is loading down the slope. That is due to the parallel component of the weight. So we have FG parallel minus the frictional force minus the tension force being equals to MA. So how do we calculate FG parallel? That is MG sine of theta. So we're going to have 17 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees minus the frictional force the frictional force that is the coefficient multiplied by the normal force our coefficient is 0 0.2 the normal force is mg cos of theta so that will be 70 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by cos of 30 minus the tension being equals to 70 multiplied by a we're going to have 224.1813 minus the tension force being equals to 70A. As you can see, we have two variables but one equation. We need two equations. Let's name this equation 1 and set up our equation 2. We're going to find equation 2 using M1. Let's draw a free body diagram for M1. We have the weight, obviously. We have the tension, which is pulling it up the incline. We have the normal force. M1 is experiencing no frictional force, so we can leave it like that. When we set up our equation, the force that is pulling M1 is the tension minus the force that is opposing the parallel component of the weight. So we have Fg parallel being equal to Ma. We're going to have the tension minus Fg parallel. The mass is 12 multiplied by 9,8 multiplied by sine of theta. The angle of inclination is 50 degrees. So we're going to have sine of 50 being equals to 12A. So we're going to have the tension minus 90.0868 being equals to 12A. This is our equation 2. Let's add the two equations. We're going to add the left hand sides together and the right hand sides together. Minus tension and plus tension will cancel out. We're going to be left with 224.1813 minus 90.0868 being equals to 82A. This is just 134.0945 being equals to 82A. We need to divide both sides by 82, obviously. 
And if we do that, we're going to get an acceleration that is equals to 1.64 meters per second squared. We are only interested on the magnitude. We don't need to indicate the direction. 2.2.2, let's do 2.3. So 2.3 is saying that if the angle of slope BC is decreased to 20 degrees, initially it is 30 degrees and now it has been decreased to 20 degrees. Will the frictional force between the block and the slope increase, decrease, or remain the same? Explain your answer. So the frictional force is going to increase. Let me show you why. The frictional force is equal to the coefficient multiplied by the normal force. The coefficient, it depends on the material. So whether we increase or decrease the angle, the coefficient is not affected. So now we are only looking at the normal force. Well, the normal force is equal to mass, gravity, and cos of theta. Well, the mass is constant and the acceleration is also constant. So we are just looking at cos of theta. If the angle decreases, does the normal force increase or decrease? We know that cos of zero is one and cos of 90 is zero. If you decrease the angle, the normal force increases. If you increase the normal force, the frictional force is gonna increase.